Thank you so much, brother, and shalom, everyone. Thank you for having me. It's an honor for me as well to be here with you and, and you, your friends. And uh, if I talk about my testimony of my past, I am from Somalia. My name is Shania Gabo, born in Somalia, capital of, of Somalia called Mogadishu. And uh, I used to be a Muslim, and Somalia is a Muslim country, Muslim Sunni country. And uh, my family are very religious uh, people and uh, I grew up as a Muslim. What I knew was only Islam and, and, and Sunni teachings. And at uh, young age, I went to Quranic school. My family sent me there. Actually, I used to go after school as well. And every day study the Quran and learning by heart. And it was so difficult for me because uh, Quran is Arabic language and Somalia, we speak Somali language. We don't speak Arabic. So tell us, tell us more specifics now. You said you left, went to Europe. And, yeah. and then what happened after that? Uh, how, what, what changed that began to help you focus on following Jesus, for instance? So and we left in Somalia because of the civil war, come to Sweden and uh, I get married, my husband and I, and uh, we were still Muslim. And the first time I see Somali woman cover her head to toe or dress like uh, Afghanistan was in Sweden. I was shocked. And I said, what they are wearing? What is this? And uh, one by one, my neighborhood, they started saying, oh, this is the real, real Islam. Now you have to wear this dress. Now you have to be real Muslim now because we live in infidel country. And we came to Sweden and Sweden is an amazing country, beautiful people. They welcome us. They, and we learned the language. My husband and I, God has given to us two kids. So we had a good jobs, both of us. And, uh, you know, we've been living in Sweden. We become Swedish citizen and uh, living in Sweden 12, 13 years. And 2005, in the beginning of 2005, I said my to my husband, let us move to UK because I said I want to learn English. I could not say one word English. I could not communicate with anyone. And I said, please, mm -hmm. let us move to UK because we are Swedish. We are citizen. Let us move to UK. And when I learn English or the kids are young, we can come back to Sweden, but God has another plan. All that years I, we've been in Sweden, no Christian come to us. No one shared the gospel with us. No one invite me to church. I never even met any Christian, a Swedish Christian. So it seems like we are in Europe, but we, we are in a Muslim country because all the Somalis or all the Muslims, they live same area. They move in one, one area. They have their halal shop. They are like a, living the, like they are in their own country, you know. But uh, 2005, when I came to the UK, that's when God has saved me. So Amen. Uh, my, my testimony Amen. starts from seriously from there because no one shared the gospel with me. I did not know any Christian. Like I said, I came to the UK. I uh, just want to know the language and learn the language. And before I even learned the language, and I, my husband started working as a taxi driver because he has to take care of the family. And yeah. I, I was uh, just uh, preparing and uh, going to class just to uh, English speaking and listening because I'm auxiliary nurse. I want to work care home or hospital, something like that. I was planning to do that. But before I did all of that, I had uh, we used to use internet and uh, send the emails uh, to our family. And all my family, they are in Europe. They are not in Somalia. No one is in Somalia. Mostly they are in Scandinavian or in the UK. But and I used to communicate with them. One evening, my husband was working and he was on uh, with a taxi. And I was mm -hmm. chatting with my family and I was in the internet chatting and waiting Salatul Isha. I was still Muslim. I was Which like a Muslim, even prayer, when I last prayer, during last the day. prayer. Yeah, 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 last prayer of the day. But my heart was always empty. I used to have only fear of Allah. I never had a relationship with, with Allah because I was so scared of Him. Because they say when you die, Allah will weigh you good deed and you bad deed, and you will go wherever you done the most. Right. And I knew my good deed was not good enough. I was so hard a fear, but I have to do my, my chores. I have to do what I'm supposed to do. Bless Him. 
pray, fast, and all that. And that evening, I was sitting there, kids are sleeping. She, you know, my husband is uh, working with the taxi, is out there. And I'm just chatting and waiting, Salatul Isha, and it's supposed to be 11. Someone sent me a video clip. I did not know that video, what the video was. And the video was, uh, the video clip it started with the, you know, uh, the intro. The intro was Quran, people reading the Quran. And I see a lot of men and I see the flag of Islam, the black uh, flag. And everyone, they had their, their uh, on their forehead, uh, there is no God, but Allah and Muhammad is prophet. You know, the intro, there was a lot of like a uh, clip, right. clip, clip about Islam. And I was so excited and happy and thinking, wow, these people. And after that, when the, that intro finished, there was a group of men. And I've seen they were reading the Quran and talking Arabic, and there was another man sitting in front in front uh, them. And for me, Quran was so holy on that moment. Quran was like my everything. I was believing for like everything it says in there. And they just read the Quran, and I'm thinking they are praying and blessing this man. That was I was thinking. But when they finish reading the Quran, one of the men took big knife from here and he chopped his head off. He killed the man in front of the camera. He just chopped his head off and take that. And that crushed my heart, crushed everything I believe in my life. It just went away and washed away. And I was so shocked what I see. And I started shaking. I started crying and thinking, being sick. I'm thinking, what is this? What kind of God is Allah? Why they read his name and they kill this man? Why he has to die in front of the camera? And like an animal. And I said, what kind of God are you? I start to cry and question and be angry to God first time. And I said, Allah, what kind of God are you? Why you didn't save this man? Why this has to? Die, this man has to die. Why they have to kill in your name? And I said, I don't want anything to do with you. I don't want to follow you no more. That's it. From now on, I don't believe in you. And that's the night I had a dream of Jesus. I left Islam. I want to become atheist because I don't want to watch this um, man who died. His name is now, I find out his name is uh, Nick Ber Berry. Nick Berry. They killed him in Iraq 2004. He was American Jewish man. Nick, mm -hmm. Nick, Nick Barry, Nick Barry, Nick Barry, something like that. But innocent young man has to die that in the name of Allah was end of my belief. I didn't want to do it anymore. They sent me to this video saying Allahu Akbar, but that's the video I left Islam on that moment. I left Islam. I want to become atheist from that moment. I don't want to follow Allah and I want to be atheist. But that's the night I had a dream. And I had a dream, brother, Al-Fadi. And the dream was I was standing in front of my house. I never had a dream. Even if I had a dream, I never remember. But this time, I can remember everything, all the detail. I was standing in front of my house and I have seen heaven a man coming and he was so light. His light filled the air. He was so bright and his, when the light filled the air, he was there and he was calling people, come all of you, come and you will be safe. His voice was so loud calling people. And I looked my right hand, my left hand, everyone bowed down and worshiped that man. I included myself, I bowed down and worshiped. I did not know who was the man. I wake up in the morning, I did not know any Christian. I wasn't even expecting Jesus. I did not know. And I tell my husband, last night I see this horrible clip. They killed this man and this, and, and this uh, clip I've seen. And I want to become atheist, but I've seen this dream. And I don't know who is that man. Do you think is that Allah or Prophet Muhammad? I wasn't thinking anyone else. And I remember course, my husband. I understand. I mean, and that, that's why I tell people when you ask a Muslim, did you see Jesus in a dream? They're not going to think about Jesus. They're going to no. think it's either Muhammad or, or a righteous person somehow. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and my husband said, cannot be Allah because Allah cannot be a man. And Prophet Muhammad 
you cannot worship. So I don't know who you see, but he, he told me why you watch that. But I was so happy all day. I want to know that man who comes from heaven. Next night, before I went to bed, I remember I, I just prayed in Somali language. I didn't pray as, as, a, as a Muslim. Muslim. I didn't pray the five prayer of the day. And I said, Allah, is that you? Please reveal yourself to me. I want to follow you the rest of my life. I'm sorry what I said last night. I don't want to be atheist forever. Please tell me, is that you or Prophet Muhammad? And the next night I had another dream. But this time I remember everything so vivid, so clear. And uh, my, uh, my mother used to tell me, read the Quran for her. And she gave me Quran and she told me to read the Quran. And I looked my mother's eye and I said, mom, Jesus is the way, the life, the truth. No man comes to the father except through him. And I repeat those words. I never hear those words before because I never read the Bible. I didn't know. I'm surprised myself, shocked what's coming from my mouth. But I'm preaching to my mother and saying, mom, Jesus is the way, the life, the truth. And after that, she, my mom get angry. She told me, give me water. And I give glass of water, put in front of my mother and plate with food and everything I touch become cross shaped cross and after that she told me you become christian you are infidel and she ran from the room and i get scared and i was thinking what's going on i could not control myself i'm just saying this is the way the life the truth now everything i touch is cross and she left the room and calling the, shouting the rest of the family and i come from big family i have 16 half siblings and brothers and sisters and my husband and my relative and i was thinking that's it they will come and kill me and that moment when I get scared, guess who came back to rescue me? The man I was worshiping the other night, he came and stood in front of me and he lifted me up and he calling me my child, fear not. And he's holding me like that and lift me up and I can see the atmosphere, the roof of my house, everything, we just going upward. And he is like my dad and I'm his little child. I feel like that. And he's saying, child, fear not. Fear not because you are with me. Anyway, we went up upward to the end. We came a place. The Lord showed me most beautiful place. That place, how it looked like the houses, the color, the flower, the music, the golden road, the streets is beyond our imagination. I don't have words to explain how it looked like that place. It's so beautiful. No word to, to, to say right in that place, how it looked like. And I was just jumping up and down. And I said, where am I? Where am I? What is this place? And the Lord Amen. said, this is the place I prepare for you and everyone who believe in me. This is heaven. That is amazing. Heaven. That's amazing because that's John 14 right there. Heaven is a real place, brother. Heaven is a real place. And it is most beautiful place. Not only I was heaven, but I was with my heavenly father. I was Amen. with my Lord. And Amen. this time, he's all for me. Only for me. It's just pouring me the, his love. And after that, he showed me another place. We did not go the other place. But he said, Shania, look over there. And there was a screen you can see on the screen. And that screen was so dark, the place I've seen was so dark and, and, and only smoke coming. Very scary place. I didn't want to look. And I said, where is that place? I didn't want to look. I get scared. And, and the Lord said, all your family are there because they don't believe in me. Anyone who don't believe in me will go there, the dark place. But you are here with me. My child, fear not. I will be with you. I will be with you. Fear not. Fear not. I never leave you or forsake you. Those words when he said, and I'm holding him, hugging him, my alarm will wake me up. And it seems like I'm just saying, someone just put me down to my bed. I just jumped from my bed. And I remember going to my computer and Google it. What does that mean? Jesus is the way, the life, the truth. What I was saying to my mother, am I crazy? What's going on? Now I remember the words I was saying to my mother. And I looked and John 14, 6 come. I am the way, the life, the truth. I cry for happiness. And I never leave you nor forsake. I come. Everything I ask, everything I put on there, it comes like a verse from the Bible. First time in my life I've seen the, the Holy Bible from the internet, yeah. and I fell in love. I want to just uh, comment on what you said because uh, I see someone uh, here who is claiming that uh, you saw Satan, you know. So I want to clarify 
you double check what you saw with the scripture, the word of yeah. God. Yeah. Faith comes by hearing and hearing mm -hmm. by the word of Christ, by the word of God. So you didn't just take the dream and make assumptions. You verified and you saw that there is something to be said from the scripture. I just want to clarify that because this person might be confused, you know, because yeah. Muhammad saw Satan, not you. Yeah. Muhammad, no. on the other hand, did see Satan and thought Satan was Gabriel. That's a whole different story. Yeah, you saw yeah. the real, you know, um, yeah. a creator, the year God, uh, the, the real God, the, our Lord the, Jesus Christ. The real God is real and it's not, it's not Allah. Jesus Christ is the real God, brother. You need Amen. to Amen. just check the read the word of God. Anyway, if I come back to where I, I put on there, how Jesus will come back. Now I know it was Jesus because I've seen from the Holy Bible, everything I was saying to my mother. And everything the Lord was saying to me is in front of me from the Holy Bible. And I said, how he going to come back? And there was another verse. He will come from heaven. Every eye will see. Every knee will bow down. Every mouth will confess. Jesus is the Lord. And that's what I was doing. I was, the other night, I was worshiping him. The man who come from heaven. And it is from the word of God. I find that from the Bible. More I read, more, more I feel in love. With the bible and those another verse says uh, john 3 16 for god so loved the world he gave his only begotten son whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life i never hear those words from the quran Amen. allah never Amen. loved me never loved every anyone and now i'm hearing the real creator the god almighty loves everyone and everyone who believe in Jesus will have everlasting life. And after that, brother, you know, because coming from Islam and you have to do good deed. Now I'm so happy. Now I'm so excited. Now more I read, more I fell in love with that moment, like five minutes, 10 minutes. More I read, I'm more I want to follow Jesus. And I said, how many good deed I will do? I remember how many good deed to do to go to heaven because I want to go to Jannah. I want to have a relationship Amen. with Jesus. And, and there was Ephesians. Two, eight, and nine. Thank you, brothers and sisters, who are doing good job putting the Holy Bible on the internet and opening people's eyes and all the preachings and teachings you do, you guys doing, even you, brother and Fadi, about the Trinity. It is good. People will open their eyes on the reading the word of God. For word of God. So that moment there, there was Ephesians two, eight, and nine, and it says, "You are saved by grace, not your own work." But the, but the, but the gift of God. This is the gift of yeah. God through Jesus Christ, Amen. and that's the let moment me, I. I, I ah, yeah. yeah. I want to ask. I was. I ask the question again. Uh, the same person who says you saw Satan now, uh, as always, changing his mind now. Yeah, yeah. He, he's saying that the person take a, an ID card and tell you, "I am Jesus. This is my full name right here." Yeah. I mean, uh, dear sister, uh, once again, maybe this person is not getting it so far. You no. saw a vision of someone who is showing you wonderful things. Yeah. You still went to the scripture it's to scriptures. find the truth. Yes. Amen. Yes. I find the truth Amen. and the truth yes. is in the word of God. It is in the Bible, brother. You need to go. This person who's just debating and putting comment there, go and check your own eyes. Read the word of God. You get the answer. Answer is in the Bible, not on Amen. the Quran. Not in the Quran. So, brother, I mean, yes, what happened? So, yeah. so, this moment when I find out the salvation, it is by the grace of God through Jesus Christ. I said, Hallelujah, praise the Lord, whatever it says there. I, I do not know Hallelujah that moment, but I was so happy. And I said, I want to follow Jesus. What should I say now? I Because it must come from Muslim, you need a Shahada. <laughs> Shahada. I know, I, know. No. I, I said the same thing. My wife said the same thing. We always yes. think the same way. <laughs> yes, we think in the, because our mind has been uh, brainwashed Islam and uh, just uh, that you have to, you're just following, you have that uh, point of view, you know. And I said, how, what should I read? What is the Shahada? Now I just write some words, different words. And uh, in English, uh, my English was not good, but it's Swedish, it's Swedish language. That time I was uh, using the Swedish language and also Somali language. And uh, I said, I want to follow Jesus. What should I do? And there was a little prayer, salvation prayer. They call salvation prayer. 
read this prayer after me or read this prayer and you will be safe. And I remember this prayer, the small prayer, I repeat like maybe a hundred times just to make sure I'm a follower of Christ. But brother, from that moment, when I get saved, I read the prayer and uh, salvation prayer. I received Jesus and kneel down and I said, Jesus, you will be my Lord and Savior. I will follow you the rest of my life. And I was so excited. And I said, I cannot be silenced. You know, God put my heart like a um, passion just to share this good news to everyone who comes in front of me, especially mm -hmm. Somali people, because Somali people, no one going to them, no one sharing with the, with the love of Christ. No one came to me 13 years in living in Europe. So if I don't go, who will go and tell the good news to them? So I started telling to my husband. My husband, when he came from work, I said, you know, you remember the dream I had first night? I had another dream, and now I read the, from, the, from the Bible. I get everything from the Bible. The man I see and we worship, that was not Allah. That was not Prophet Muhammad. That was Jesus Christ, and I am his follower. And Jesus is the way, the life, the truth. Those words, I used to start to preaching people and just telling them, Jesus is the way, the life, the truth. No man comes to the Father except through him. Because they pray all the time, Muslim, Fatiha, Surah Fatiha. And he says, lead us the right path. Now I found the right path. I will Amen. share with everyone. Hallelujah. <laughs> so I, uh, and, and brother, my persecution starts from that day. I was shocked. Okay, that's how... good. Let's stop right here because I want yeah. people to know that this is real. And I tell you why I want to stop you right here because... There are people here that are claiming that, uh, which is typical, I'm sure you've heard it many times, that you are an actress, you're acting like you're a follower of Jesus, that you've never been a Muslim. I mean, what do you say to things like this that are absolutely ridiculous, to say the least? Anyone who would use comments like this have yet to think about what you're saying. What do you say okay. to things like this? I mean, and that person, I will say, if, I'm, if I was, was never been Muslim, why are you threaten me every day and saying we kill you because you're infidel? There, there you go. <laughs> so you have to have, you don't need to answer. the standard. Yeah. <laughs> every day we get a message after message. We kill you. You're infidel. You're kafir. We, so that's what happened every day. So yeah, I'm Somali person. My family can hear me now. I lost all my family, my relative, my everyone, because I left so, Islam. Yeah, so but what this person is saying... What, yeah. what this person, your sister, is saying that Somali yeah. people are not Muslims at all. That's what he's saying. Oh, praise is God. It? I did not know that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. That's so, prophecy. So how that, will the Somali prophecy. people react to, them, to, to this? I mean, don't Somali people brag about the fact that they're Muslim and they even want to consider themselves to be Arab as well? They think they are Arab. They think they are the only Muslim. They are more Muslim than Arab people. They are the only Muslim in this planet Earth. You, you don't know. You know, if you go to Open Doors, uh, the website, you will see Somalia is always been the second or the third most persecuted country in the world if you are Christian. So how that come if we if we are if we used to be uh, Christian or, or or that? So this person, I think he doesn't know about Somalia. Google it, oh. find out Somalia Here's is a Sunni. None of them Sunni. know anything. All they no, do, they you know, the parrot we call it babaga in Arabic. Yeah. The parrot, yeah. just yes. repeating things like this. Yeah. And what I want them to do sometimes instead of doing this, just to do this one time and stop talking because they need they to use talking. their brain. God yeah. has given them brain that can work. They don't. They refuse to use it. Yeah. So with that says, I want to thank, of course, everyone for uh, joining us here. We, we have an amazing testimony by our dear sister Shania from Christian uh, Somali Christian TV, which, by the way, her husband will be with us next week at the same yeah. time to yeah. share also his testimony. And I'm hoping that in the future we'll work together with them to do teachings and reach out and, and uh, yes. other things.